Fine Channel. My name is Hoodie London. This is the case of the Idaho Moscow quadruple murders. This is Jack D standing up on the roof. We've seen this picture before. I'm wondering if, a, if that white pickup could be the white pickup that we saw near the corner club, pulling up to the corner club. This picture is from Jack Duco is TikTok. He locked it away. This was eight months ago, seven months ago, right after the murders. I don't know if he fell or if or something has happened to him, but look at his fingers and his hands. Look at his nails. What is going on with Jack D? I know that the police said they've ruled him out as a victim, uh, as a witness, but he was the last person to be ruled out. Even John Showalter was ruled out before him. Just look at the state of these fingers. I've always said that before. I'm sure this picture is after the murders because I've seen him with band aid on his finger. Three band-aids. And it clearly looks like here he still has one there. Middle finger. Or sorry, not the middle finger, next to the middle finger. Look at his nails. Where was this man to have damaged his fingers and hands so badly? This is his own picture from TikTok before you say anything. Look at his mouth. Did something happen to Jack D? Could he have felt like his life was shattered because Kaylee Congalvis, his beautiful girlfriend that they share a dog, was leaving him. She was moving to Texas and she was going on a holiday to Europe for a year. This is not normal the hands that you see. You can see there's another band-aid in the corner finger. And I've always said that. I've been searching all these days for pictures of him and finally I found one. How could he be ruled up? There was even rumors of, I remember, of a guy sleeping in his car. His white car and the police were called, but they never told us what that was about. We heard rumors that Jack D was homeless for a while around those timings. What has happened to his hands and his legs? 